Big Lenny is a complicated, crazy yet likeable character, addicted to porn, sex with transsexual black women, performance enhancing drugs and attention. Tortured by his past, he neglects his future in a suicidal quest to become what will make his father proud. This is the story of Big Lenny. Perfect thing to do before a workout is to get on your hands and knees in the men's room and lick the floor. Fat fucking Lenny, huh? Fat fucking Lenny. Tortured again, raised by 10 teenage black girls. Hmm, interesting. Whoa, look at that. Look at that meat wallet. You got a big meat wallet. God bless you. I bet you you did this all the time. Man, she tastes good. Oh my God, Marcia Brady. <laughs> Look at your meat wallet. Look at it bulging, the meat wallet. Hello guys, how's it going? You alright? Today we're going to be taking a look at the man, the myth, the legend, Big Lenny. We have a lot to go through, so I'll just dive in dick first into the story. So Big Lenny's dad, also called Lenny, had a failed career in American football, or just football if you live in America, although what this game has to do with feet or balls, I have no idea. Well, maybe some balls, but I doubt that's what the game's named after. Anyway, so uh, Big Lenny's dad seems to have pinned his hopes on football fame onto his son, which led to a break in their relationship, and Lenny moved out when he was 17 and never spoke to his father again. And it haunts me to this day. And I, I, I don't think I could ever get over it. Did you get that shot once? You know, he gave me all the tools I needed. The mental aspect, physical aspect, how to intimidate people, you know, running with the sprinting, the strength. And for some reason, I was just too caught up and wanting to be like all the other kids. You Is know, that why you have this whole like kind of yeah? I'm against that cookie rage cookies. against the cookie cutter. Yes, machine. I tried to fit in, and that's what hurt me. You know, I got my ear pierced. God knows why. Come home, and I think my sister tipped my father off as he came in the door. And he got his ear pierced. So I remember sitting at the table, and my father looking at me looked at my right ear because he'd sit at the head of the table. Yeah. Then he looked at my left ear. He came up to me. He goes. Because you don't take that out right now, I'm going to rip your fucking ear off. And I went and took it off, and that was the end of that. And I'm glad he said that. He began bodybuilding shortly after he left home and seems to have built his entire personality around this. So before we continue, let's first deal with Lenny's appearance. So Lenny most likely has Palumboism, which is named after the bodybuilder David Palumbo. So palumboism is a condition also known as roid gut in which the muscles on the side of the abdomen thicken and the arms and legs shorten. The cause of this disease is still debated but most believe it's due to high amounts of human growth hormone. Lenny seems to be proud of his muscular stomach and considers it his best feature. Is that the biggest it's like the movie. Ab muscles you've ever seen. It's like from Alien. There's about six of them about to pop out of there. That's yeah. like Quado. What was that? What movie was that from again? Total Recall? Quado? Remember that? Fat fucking Lenny, huh? Did you people say look at those thighs? Fat fucking Lenny, huh? You like exercise, Fat fucking Lenny, huh? Fat fucking Lenny. Fat fucking Lenny. Fat fucking Lenny. Look at that. Fucking retard. Get your ass out here and tell me that to my face. Anybody can talk on a fucking computer. Let's see who the fat fuck is now. It's 297. You lazy fuck. Six foot four. Put the porno down and come in, come out the fucking world gym in Delray. Anytime. What's the address? I'll fight anyone right in the back. Big Lenny also has a seemingly ever changing skin tone which shifts from white to brown to black. This seems to be linked to the overuse of an injectable agent used to tan white skin that the bodybuilders use to accentuate muscle definition. Lenny also has very yellow eyes that is known to be linked with jaundice. You don't care what you put in your body, do you? Right? You'll try anything. Look at you, he's like fucking, look at that jaundice. Holy fuck, your eyes are yellow. I went beyond stage, that's one of the biggest, hardest guys that ever set foot on a stage. Mm -hmm. I don't worry about terms like symmetry and this and that. Right. I think you ought to be 
as big and as hard as you can get. <laughs> Right there, everybody. I use the cookie cutter mentality. It's a psychological tool. I like to test people psychologically. That's my fun in life, if you will. I like to see how people treat me with different colors and different looks. What the fuck was that? Hmm? What the hell did you just put in your mouth? Nothing. Is that a raw egg? Don't let the viewers see this. Oh, they're seeing it. Actually. Oh, they're seeing it. My joints, the secret. I hate to give it out. Eggshell membrane. What? Eggshell membrane. What the hell is it's egg? Priceless. It's the best joint repair substance known to man. All of this performance-enhancing drug use has left Lenny with some serious health problems, including a strange teardrop on his precious stomach, a leg that looks like it will soon need to be chopped off, and many visits to the hospital due to heart issues. To be fair, the man has pushed his body to the limits, and the fact that he's still alive and kicking shows he must be made of some tough stuff. Well, if I die, I want you to roll my, oil it up, put me in the posing trunks, and roll my corpse on that stage next to Dale. I'll still be bigger and harder than him as a corpse. Lenny first reached notoriety when he appeared on the Delray Misfits YouTube channel. The Delray Misfits is a vlog type channel in which they talk to people at the World Gym in Delray Beach, Florida. The Delray Misfits is a whole new rabbit hole to fall down which would take a whole video, so maybe one day I'll do that. But for now, this is Jason Genova. Jason is an online bodybuilder with special needs who works out at the World Gym. Lenny has kind of taken Jason under his wing and helps to boost Jason's confidence. Finally have an appearance, an appearance by the one and only Big Lenny. A very surprising appearance this morning, Lenny. I saw you walking into the gym door and I'm like, is that who I think it is? What are you doing here so early? I guess it's everybody's lucky day. We're all together. He just lost his coach yesterday. Would you like to elaborate on that? He's really busy with his business right now. Oh really? Too busy for you? Okay. Yeah, he's too busy for It's me. on record. Well, we're not. Correct? Yeah, we're not. And these 24 inch arms aren't either. Yeah. See that? I'm weighing in about 370. I'm kind of disappointed because I didn't have any challengers. But I guess these people out here got half a brain that they don't want a piece of this. <laughs> All you tattooed freaks <laughs> with your gym gear. Where are you? I'm waiting. Remember, no liability. We'll go right out the back. And if you beat me, you get $1,000. I'm sure you guys could use a thousand just to give all the drugs you could buy. <laughs> well, I don't need it. <laughs> don't need drugs when you're like that. <laughs> See that? Who's he, who's he 370 out? and hard. Jason, 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 Jason. Where is he? We can carry him out. Let's go. Let's carry Jason out. Let's get him out or we'll carry him. There he is. You ready? Yeah. He wants Save to hold my side. Ready, Jason? You want to get on my shoulders? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mel Chauncey, C-H-A-U-N-C-E-U. -E Who's that? That's as a nobody, but he apparently likes to run his mouth and tell stories about how bad he is. Well, I want you, Chauncey, and you can come and you can, I tell you what, here's a stipulation. You can bring your pliers and try to rip these teeth out of the head like you so claimed some 120 pound piece of garbage. <laughs> I could buy that for a dollar. You got that? You people can look them up. 
Mel Chauncey. <laughs> That's just fucking great. So called Hell's Angel. Like, that's supposed to scare me? <laughs> Bunch of fat beer drinking cowards. Lenny became a fan favourite on the Delray Misfits channel due to his wacky ideas on the way the world works and his outrageous personality. And I was thinking the perfect thing to do before a workout is to get on your hands and knees in the men's room and lick the floor. Try it. You get in there and lick the floor. Believe me, you come out and tear up these weights. You do this, women got to go to school. No, you don't. You got to go balls out. Make yourself a superman. Women know, you know how to raise kids and cook and take care of the man so they make them superman. That's why you got a bunch of douchebags running around. No one's a real man anymore. It's no secret. And like I predicted, unless things change, we're going to be a satellite nation of the Chinese. And then you'll see what slave labor's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 let him. Okay. Well, hey, if you want to. Do you like having your chewing? Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Yeah. Not tonight. Yeah. Oh, God. The challenge for you is to try to remain standing. Don't go down. Right, where are you getting ready? Hold strong. Okay. Now make sure the dot's on his stomach, and you have to hold it steady while stomach. you pull the trigger. Hold it steady, Mason. Hey, maybe he'll lose a little bit if he hits yeah, the back soon. Yeah, maybe if you zap him in the stomach, he'll lose the belly. You never know. I've never posed before. Yeah, it's for you, Christina. Oh! He took it! Not bad. That was oh, holy that was shit! Was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I see you cookie cutter drug addicts go down. Like to fight. Who did you ever fight? A lot of people. Cookie cutter. I've heard, believe me, dude. I'm twice your age. I've heard it all before. Who did you fight? And when? I've trained with a lot of people. Who did you fight? You've trained with people. You've said you've fought people. Who did you fight? And when? Yeah, when? What define fight? <laughs> define fight. Why didn't you get this at the beginning? I think you wanted a sword fight with the union watch. This is what you had in mind, Mr. Vegan. <laughs> the only people that dance are slaves. Don't, don't, come on, Men we got dogs. Oh, yeah, be respectful, Lenny. Lenny, be respectful. Lenny worked in a hospital kitchen for 28 years so that he could have access to large amounts of food. Sadly, he was fired from this job due to a porn movie that he starred in. The porn movie was of a transsexual black woman urinating into his mouth. So now seems as good a time as any to talk about Big Lenny's sexual preferences. He likes transsexual black women. That's pretty much it. He likes to be humiliated by transsexual black women. He also has a porn addiction and refused to have a mobile phone for many years to try and break his addiction. No, I'm a, I'm a freak. You a porn star? I'm the, uh, yeah, I've done that. I've done wrestling. I've done bodybuilding. I've done everything. But actually now I want to be your, I want to be your slave. You want to be my slave? <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to. What you want me to do? Whatever you say. I tried everything that's what you shouldn't try. <clears throat> and, you know, obviously. Well, what's one thing you'd like to try you haven't tried? If you can wave a little happy magic wand, Lenny, and you can try one fantasy you've always had but never have, maybe I... Tortured and gang raped by 10 teenage black girls. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you want to have, see some off the wall freaks, take a ride at Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard in West Palm, go east, make a left on Dixie Highway, say about two, three o'clock in the morning every night. That's where the action is. You heard it here from Big Lenny. 
Although I only indulge once every few months, just, just to get out of your system. That's what you gotta do, and then you're done. Big Lenny also has an unhealthy obsession with an actress named Christina Broccolini. I have no idea who she is, but she doesn't look like a transsexual black woman to me, so I guess he has broader taste than he likes to admit. Although, in this postmodern dystopia that we currently live in, who knows, maybe she is a transsexual black woman. Hard to say for sure. Anyway, Lenny fell out with his father for following the crowd when he was younger and not focusing on his sports career. This seems to have shaped Lenny, sculpted him into the Picasso-esque figure that he is today. He now has a huge disdain for what he refers to as cookie cutters. These are people that follow trends and just generally conform to social norms. Everything that Lenny does is an attempt not to be a cookie cutter, which in a way makes him the ultimate cookie cutter. Which then, in another way, makes him not a cookie cutter. I don't know. Let's take a look at his house. I'm gonna film it, fuck it. If, Andrew, if you tell Andrew to edit it out, I will, but I gotta put a gag over my fucking nose. Brad, don't do it. Leonard, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me, man? <coughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know where the stink's coming from. You don't know where the stink's coming from? <laughs> Probably from all the shit everywhere, you fucking... <laughs> Holy fuck. Fuck, I think this place is worse than Jason's. Leonard, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not taking a shit in there. Oh my God. I'd rather shit in my pants. <laughs> what the fuck, man? How do you live? Christine, I don't live here. Oh, God damn. I think I'm going to pass out from the stench. It's like, it's like smelling salt. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of sweaty gym clothes that need to be washed, all that ammonia. For well, fuck's sake, Leonard! What? It's hot, low maintenance, look. What do you mean low clean maintenance? Clean clothes here, you can take, take a tour of the bedroom while you're at it. Oh my fucking god. I feel like I'm in a, in a fucking Tarantino movie, I'm gonna get fucking... Jesus. I got my CPAP breathing machine. Like Jay Masters. Everything you could ever want. God, you still got VHS? Those are oh, those are all the porn tapes, aren't they? No, no, there's no porn in the house. Oh my fucking god! You just have you just like track shit through your house, Leonard. So the Delray fans all chipped in and paid for a cleaner to go around and clean Lenny's house for him. Lenny hid behind his fence while the cleaners were at his house due to embarrassment. It didn't take long for the house to become a mess again. So Lenny has been arrested a few times for drugs charges. <laughs> oh baby. What the fuck did I do? Leonard? Yes, sir. Anything to say to Dale? Dale, what'd you come in? Fifth place? Fifth place? I big a big Somebody call 911. You call him. Get it off of me Have now! Get it Get the it fuck off. off of me! Have a seat. Have a seat. Here, you know what? You might have forgot. Give me one second, Leonard. No, I can tell you what that probably is. Okay, so what is it? Small I'm going to test it. Right. Okay. How much did you pay? I, I don't do drugs anymore. I just do steal ones. Lenny is a hard man to get a grip on, which I guess is what he wants. On the one hand, he seems like a bully who throws his weight around and tries to intimidate people that are smaller than him. But on the other hand, he seems like a kind-hearted guy who likes to help people that are weaker than him. He doesn't care what people think, but also spends his life trying to prove to other people that he is different. Ultimately, Big Lenny is just a lost soul scratching around in the dark trying to find a little spark of happiness. The same as everyone, I guess. Let's hope that he finds it. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Oh! Go ahead, kill me. I'll put you in my will. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Boy, you're gonna be world famous, you know that? Where's the closest hospital I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, God. Hey, hold on, let us get that. Let us get $40. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then watch this one. And bye-bye. The only cut you got in your body is a crack of your ass. <laughs>